Nanook Metal. Tuk tuk. Hello friends, my name is Nanook Metal and today I would like to show you how to complete the bank heist. And as always it will be done on Death Wish difficulty and in solo. This heist uh, has actually a couple of variations and the one I'm doing right now is the gold which is actually a pro job. They are all basically the same, the only difference will be uh, that the loot that you are securing is going to be a little bit different. The three assets that I brought with me today are the body bags, the ammo bags and the key card. You don't really have to go with my particular placements or like get these particular items, they're completely optional. Uh, but the ammo bag will help me with the saw and uh, the body bags will help me obviously with controlling civilians and oh okay i'm gonna mask up and take this guy out actually he's in a very 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 good position on death wish difficulty this heist i'm not sure if it's the same on lower difficulties but on death wish difficulty this heist will have four guards three of them are roaming around the bank and one of them is located inside of the camera room. The camera room can spawn in two different places. The first one is over here. And the second one, I'll show you a little bit later, but it's basically uh, just to the right of that bookshelf. Either way, uh, the key card comes in very handy because we don't have to saw this open. We don't have to drill it open. We don't have to use the ECMs. I didn't bring ECMs with me. Uh, we can just use the key card and open. Is that green blood? Is this guy another alien in Payday 2? That is green. Uh, okay, I guess it's just a reflection. We can just open this camera room and uh, take out the camera guard. So the cameras are off now. Of course, the on death wish difficulty, the cameras are going to be uh, Titan cameras, but completely useless now. Anyway, uh, the reason that the key card is not necessary is because that manager over there uh, is somewhere. The manager guy has a key card on him. If he doesn't have the key card, the key card is in his office behind that wall. And you can enter it by just walking over there. I still have to take out two more guards and of course there are civilians to take out. I'm actually gonna uh, show you how to easily dominate all the civilians and it's achieved with the uh, control freak skill. By the way, if you want to see the build and what weapons and mods I'm running, I check the link in the description. The hardest part in this heist is to be patient and to take out all the guards before you rush the bank. Uh, it is especially important if you're soloing it. Especially important if you don't have any ECMs with you. Of course, uh, if you have friends, you can ECM chain and you can, you know, people will be able to take out the guards and reply to the pagers while other players are rushing the civilians. Rushing the civilians is probably the most important thing because uh, if you don't take care of them quickly, they're actually going to push the panic buttons and raise the alarm immediately. So you have to be very careful. You have to make sure that the moment that you start rushing, you shout everyone down. Otherwise, you're going to have a very, very bad day. I'll just leave this guy here. He's not going to be much of a problem. I'm sure that's not going to backfire on me. Um, in a thin case, in a thin event that... Manager and a guard. Okay. Need to think this through. The manager doesn't have a key card on him. Uh, that means the key card in is in the manager's office. But as you can see, it was blocked uh, by the civilian, and so having the key card as an asset just saves me a lot of time. Of course, I could have gone in there and without mask, uh, without the mask on, and picked up the card. Uh, however, once again, so. Time saving is most important for me, uh, but if you don't have the inside help asset or you don't have enough money or you don't have the skills that unlock that asset, uh, of course you always have the option of going with the manager. Still need to find... Still need to find the last guard. So I took out the one guard outside, I took out the camera guard, I took out the guard with the manager, that means that's three guards. It means one more guard left. I'm gonna take this guy out. I can actually start drilling right now and it's not too much of a problem. The only roamers in this area really are the uh, the manager who I already took out and the guards. And if that one guard happens to walk by here, it's actually a, it would be a very welcome thing because then I can take him out safely. And then I will rush the rest of the bank and the outsides. 
Three civilians will spawn on the outside. Sometimes they disappear, especially if you give them enough time, they'll walk out of the edge of the map and uh, actually despawn. Uh, but be prepared to deal with them. They also might uh, spawn somewhere behind a corner and you can't take them out. And in, the, in that chance, if that happens, uh, just be ready to have like a grenade or um, try to snipe them down. So for example, in this case, if the civilian spawned, um, ran behind that wall, you can actually most of the time get on top of this car and you'll see him uh, by his exclamation mark You will, and you will be able to shoot him down actually through the wall or from top of the cars you might have enough of an angle uh, to take them out. Unfortunately in some other spots you might not have the same luxury and this is why I have a control freak skill with me because even if I cannot kill the guy I will be able to dominate him or intimidate him rather uh, with the control skill, uh, control freak. And this is why I brought the loud soul with me and not the silent one because I want to make as much noise as I can and intimidate as many civilians as I can. There's the last guard. He's not in the ideal position right now because behind that wall there are two more civilians. When I try and take that guard out they might become alerted and uh, they might alert people outside in the uh, outer bank area. Don't really want that to happen because it, it, it will be a little bit difficult to control because I'll still have the pager countdown so I need to act quick and I might not have enough time, someone might run. It it, it will turn, it might turn to crap very quickly. Anyway, that's the last guard, down. Let's reply to his pager. Ah, the drill broke again. Getting the drill started as fast as possible is an ideal situation because Eh, no kickstarter this time. Because once you dominate the whole bank, there's really nothing much to do but to just actually wait for this drill to be done. So this is why I wanted to start it as fast as I could. So now I'm gonna deal with these guys. Just gotta make sure that no one else saw them. There's also this guy here and <laughs> he just kind of chills there and you might miss him and then uh, he gives a little bit of a surprise. Anyway, I've got the control freak skill now and I'll show you what happens when you um, use the saw. Use a loud saw. You can use any weapon really, as long as it's loud. Uh, but you'll see that all these civilians will crouch. There we go. Perfect. Uh, maybe that one just didn't crouch. But that's okay. There's also that guy over there. Uh, I want to deal with these people first. And then I'll run out and deal with that last guy. But I'll try and use as many zip ties as I have. Unfortunately, I don't have any more zip ties. That means these people have to die. Kind of sad. And the drill broke again. Fun. All right, let's deal with this guy. At this point, I believe that's about it. Uh, let's see. One. There could be one more civilian or he might have despawned. Either way, I'm not too concerned, he's the only one guy, and the moment he becomes alerted by anything, if he's still anywhere here, I'm just gonna uh, use the saw again and run up to him and take him out. And there we go, we've dominated the whole map, and at this point, again, there's nothing to do for another 90 seconds. Oh, there's a save, so I can, I guess I can look, pick that. And there's the keycard on the table that I was talking earlier about. If you don't buy the keycard asset, so the first thing that you should do is come into this office and see if there is a keycard here. Try and pick it up if you have the corresponding skill. And if the keycard is not here, you know that it's on the manager. Try to pick out the manager. He sometimes goes on the roof, he sometimes goes outside at the back. Or he, we, if you recall where I've killed him, sometimes the guards might not be there and you can just take him out there, you know, grab the keycard. Uh, it's not uh, super hard thing to do, might take a little bit of practice, but uh, the most important thing is just be patient with him, wait for him to be in a good position. I'll show you one more spot where I sometimes take him out, as well as guards, because it's fairly secure. It is over here, so uh, sometimes the manager or the guards walk through here, and you can just sort of like, if you have a shotgun, blast them here, and no one will actually see them or hear them, and you can discreetly take care of them, like reply to the page or back them, and then just crawl there. As long as you don't stop, you shouldn't be spotted by this guy or these people if they spawn here. You, 
uh, you should be all right, but just crouch and carry the bags. Really depends on your concealment though, so if your concealment is fairly high, it might not work. Uh, you might have to take out those people first. Anyway, so the reason that I brought the ammo bags with me, as I said, and the reason that I've used uh, Molotov earlier to get my health below 50% was to uh, kick in the Berserker skill. So now I will be able to open up these deposit boxes with one click. And with the ammo bag, I'll be sure that I have enough ammo to go through all of them. The soy is still producing a lot of noise, but no one is becoming alerted outside. That means that one person, or I either killed him or her, or maybe they just have despawned. But I know for sure that three civilians at the start of the map will be roaming around. There are also those two guys at the back on the car park. That's a new thing, actually. Uh, it's part of an achievement. So if you're drilling and if you still got time, tie both of those guys up and take them to the van. You will unlock a ach new achievement. Ran out of ammo, but it's not a problem. So I've got all these bags to carry, bags of gold. I also have to open up these deposit boxes and uh, take care of the items inside. Nothing super exciting. Uh, I'll mention one last thing. On Deathwish difficulty, the roof has windows. So it will have large glass panels like this. Just be careful if you walk around the roof. Um, maybe one or two Deathwish uh, Titan cameras spawn there. And uh, until you take out the camera guard, uh, it might be a little bit tricky once again to walk around there. Uh, just in general, uh, as long as you're careful, as long as you don't mingle around the windows too much, you should be alright. So as you can see, this is not a particularly difficult heist and not the hardest, this is probably the easiest bank heist to complete. I personally believe that bank heist, uh, the go bank heist is actually more difficult because of the lasers, before the, of the, because of the random events, because of that phone call. It becomes a little bit more difficult to complete uh, when you're doing it by yourself. There's this weird smoke here. I think someone is blazing it up. I don't even know who that is though, because I'm pretty sure I've took out everyone or zip tied everyone. Anyway, so uh, even though this is the easiest heist, I just wanted to show you a very efficient way of completing it. We are under, we're just under 15 minutes and probably like in about a minute or two, I will get everything to the van. I've looted all the deposit boxes from the instant loot and uh, now I'm just going to carry the bags out. If there are four of you, you probably can do it even faster. You can just run in and ECM rush, shout everyone down. Uh, one person can have that control freak skill uh, to get all the civilians down and then you, uh, everyone else just take cares, takes care of the pagers and uh, that's about it. That's all you have to do. The moment you have dealt with that, you can go start the drill or you can even start the drill while you're ECM rushing because uh, you want to maximize the, uh, the efficiency. You know, you want to start the drill as early as possible. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck here and not doing anything. If you actually like brush the bank very quickly, uh, only should take you like 30 seconds if there are 44 people. Um, you you still will have a lot of time uh, to uh, to wait for the drill to be done. Not the most exciting heist. However, early on I did enjoy it quite a lot because uh, it was a very very simple way of grinding money. And uh, the other thing is that um, I've spent. A while waiting for the drill, I spend a lot of time just looking for the packages. There are a couple of secret spots, roughly secret. They're out of bounds, but you can still grab those packages. And uh, it was kind of interesting to find that out and just to farm packages overall. But that's about it. If you have any questions like, what HUD is this? This is MUI HUD. Please don't ask again. <laughs> no, it's fine. If you missed it, I won't be angry if you ask me again. But uh, if you do have any questions, uh, let me know down in the comments below. No question is too stupid. You know, I've realized that there are new players, there are more experienced players, but um, I, I will do my best to reply to all of them. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to share this video with your friends. And as always, this is what the pay is going to be like. 16 minutes, 57 seconds, 1.2 mil. Not too bad. Maybe the diamond store uh, on Deathwish is going to be better. 
Uh, not quite sure. But do compare them. Do give this bank a try. And thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye bye.